I was going to make a joke saying it's because it's cold outside. However, as I speak, it's currently about 30 degrees centigrade, so that clearly doesn't work. Anyway, my videos are about cycling, so I don't think I'll debase them anymore. I build, or rather assemble, a lot of my own wheels, and in the process I always use brass spoke nipples, because they're readily available, cheap, robust, and corrosion resistant. I was recently gifted a wheel, but discovered that the rim was no good. I decided to disassemble it so I could rescue the hub. This wheel appeared to be built with good quality components, and that included the spokes. However, the spokes were held in place in the rim with aluminium alloy nipples. It was clear though that corrosion had been working on those nipples. Although the majority unscrewed just fine, five of those nipples, as you can see here, just crumbled when I tried to undo them. Inspecting them clearly showed corrosion probably helped on by a galvanic reaction. But why do people use aluminium alloy nipples? The most obvious reason is weight saving. Let's take a look at what that weight saving could be. So here I have a bag of 64 brass nipples. That's enough for two 32 spoke wheels. Total mass 59 grams. Okay, let's look at the aluminium alloy ones. Same number of nipples, 25 gram. So the total weight saving could be as high as 35 gram. OK, time to summarise. Brass nipples weigh over twice the amount of aluminium nipples, but the actual weight saving is quite small, probably equivalent to blowing your nose. And for me, the potential maintenance issues far outweigh the reduction in weight benefit. My advice to you is, if you can, avoid aluminium alloy nipples. From me, for now, it's goodbye. But what about that hub I rescued? Here it is. It's in good condition, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. But it was good fun taking that wheel apart. Okay, I admit it, it's an engineer's version of fun.